Well, I just got back from the Chambersburg Mall where their FYE is having a going out of business sale. Why is this the only footage I shot? You can barely even see the FYE. I have no idea how FYE in general is doing, but uh, well, that mall isn't doing too well either. Oh, I guess I did shoot some other footage of that mall after all, huh? Uh, same with the FYE in the Dubois Mall and the Dubois Mall itself. Why don't I show you what I got at the Dubois Mall FYE first? Um, okay, we have here the um, Universal Classic Monsters Complete 30 Film Collection. And I mean, I guess you can probably make these out here. Are they... Which they all have multiple films, and I think some of them might repeat, you know, once they later on did the team ups and so forth. Except this one, sadly, not only is it just one film, it's the um 1940s color Phantom of the Opera remake, not the 1920s Lone Cheney classic, or maybe classics, because there are a lot of different cuts of that. Uh, James Rolfe did a much more informative videos on that. Yeah, I have some other releases of a few of these. Um I'm gonna have to carefully go through them. I think I have the, I have the mummy somewhere here and uh, see if they have any unique things or, uh, here we go. Or if maybe I can get rid of some of these. <sighs> My shelf space is quickly getting filled up. Also got this, the um, basket case. Was it special edition? Does it mention exactly what it is? Yeah, so it's, one thing is this, uh, the booklet um, has this, Rather poorly done comic. Can you see this? Dr. Cutter was the last Belial. He was the last Belial? They were looking for Belials? No comma. There should be a comma to indicate that you're... There's a difference between let's eat, comma, grandma, and let's eat, grandma! <laughs> and now the Chambersburg one. I, I got there a little sooner. So let's see what I got here. Well, I already have one of these, but... Um, might make a good gift. This is, of course, uh, Marty Jr.'s hat, which is also worn by Marty in Back to the Future 2. And uh, here, actually, I didn't even try this in the store. Let's see if this will work. Uh, nope, it's fastened in the center there. I thought I could maybe pull the mask down, and well, I guess I can do it like this. I'm wearing S&M gear, Mr. J. Actually, I could probably make the mask detachable. Then, um, what order to do things in? Well, here's some blank DVD minus R. That's important. My uh, computer doesn't take plus R um, recordable discs, so that's good for AMV contest entries or um, filler discs for this year's Oticon, maybe. So I got Star Trek The Original Series Seasons 1. That is one, right? And three, presumably season two is blue for science and medicine. One thing, yeah, I think even if they hadn't been um, you know, 30 to 50% off here, <laughs> this is, is this a typo or are they just really desperate to get rid of these? Then, then again, it does mention that they're remastered. I don't know, maybe they don't have the original version as a choice. It does say remastered DVD edition. I think I remember reading that that only has the, um, so let's see here. You can see it. What the heck? Jeez, guys. How many hoops do I have to jump through before I get a disc here? Okay, do I, do I just pull out like this? Or no, let's see. Um, it's a guide. It's, ah! Let's see. Ah, here we go. Small and transparent. No wonder I couldn't see it. Um, whoa! Whoa! Okay. I'm, I'm going to switch to two hands now. The, um... Yeah, starting to really see why this is what was on sale. Nobody would want something so cumbersome. Another piece of uh, broken plastic, yeah. Hmm. And I managed to get the disc in there, but it uh, did get some dirt on it from falling face down. Uh, yeah, I think um, 14 dollars was overpriced at this point. In no particular order, these are all the uh, Naruto Shippuden volumes I've been missing here. Yeah. So, one of these days I'll actually, I'll actually finish the first series before I get the ship food in. Got it. Um, that, okay, one other thing then. And also this here, um, I keep hearing about a two-disc um, 
version, um, original Broadway cast per recording, in case you couldn't read it because of lighting or my finger being in the way. I, I keep hearing about how great this is. I mean, so, um, I mean, I, all I know is there's one song that ends with Alexander Hamilton and another one which is da 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 So, okay, that's, uh, that sounds like I might like the other songs. I don't know. Maybe not because Logan, the guy who did I Want to Live on the Moon. I've heard some of his other songs and so far none of them are anywhere near as great as that one. So, <laughs> finally got this. I, I hope that um, with all the discounts it was cheaper than if I had bought it at, um... Barnes and Noble, watch it not be. Uh, something I just found out, there is an explicit version and a um, clean version of uh, this soundtrack, and uh, well, it looks like I lucked out and bought the explicit version, so, um, woo! Um, yeah, now for the part for the ending. So all in all, I would say uh, I think I got enough to justify the uh, four and a half hour um, round trip. Not counting additional time spent stopping at Dollar General to see if they still had any Jolt Cola. Um.